Hi there, my name is Chelsea Armfield, and if you are new to my channel, I'm here to talk all things self-love and self-care. In this video, I'm going to talk about alcohol-free living again, and I'm going to share 12 reasons why I love the alcohol-free lifestyle. Last week, I celebrated five years alcohol-free, and the reason I wanted to share this with you is because it's something I'm so grateful for in my life. Subtracting alcohol has done nothing but add to my life in positive ways. So without further ado, here are the 12 reasons why I love the alcohol-free lifestyle. Reason number one, quitting alcohol put me back in touch with my innocence. And what I mean by that is the version of me that existed before alcohol ever entered my life. It's a little bit hard to explain, but I just feel in touch with my true self again. And not only that, but I got to learn so much more about who I am outside of drinking, outside of partying, what my identity was, what my likes were, what my hobbies were, and what I was most passionate about. I now feel like my most authentic self, and to me that is priceless. My second reason is more time. And what I mean by that is I am not wasting a whole day of my week feeling hungover or recovering from a night out. And more time equals less stress because I have more time to get the things done that I want to get done. And the things that actually benefit me and serve me and help me to live a happier, healthier life. My third reason is being intentional about what I share with others. That is in reference to those weird nights where you regretfully overshare things that you intended to keep to yourself. And then you wake up the next day and you're like, why did I say that to them? Why did I break my own boundaries with myself that I had set while drunk? And so I'm really happy that now when I share things with people, I'm able to honor those boundaries I've set with myself and I am able to share what I feel comfortable sharing with people. And if I'm going out with friends, I never feel bad the next day about, oh, I shouldn't have said that because I'm fully present and I'm fully aware of what I'm choosing to share. Fourth reason. No alcohol means more calories available for food. Now, I hope I'm not triggering anybody by talking about calories. It's certainly not something that I count on a daily basis, but when we are drinking a lot of alcohol, those are calories and a lot of the time for me, it was wine, so it was sugar. And I had to kind of eat a certain way to kind of compensate for that so that I was maintaining a healthy weight. And so all I mean by this is for me personally, I love that I don't have to worry about calories quite as much because I am not consuming useless liquid calories on a regular basis. My fifth reason is no hangovers. I do not miss hangovers one bit. I don't miss how I would feel. I don't miss how much strength it would require me to push through something. For example, if I irresponsibly drank the night before having to work or get something done, I don't miss how painstakingly hard those days were. And I don't miss how bad those days were for my self-esteem and how you know, terrible I felt about myself. I never felt like that was a confidence boost. It only ever ate up my self-esteem. Not only would this eat away at my self-confidence, but it would give me so much anxiety because I just didn't feel comfortable in my body or in my own skin and it just made life feel so hectic. My sixth reason is I never have to worry about transportation. I don't have to spend all this time and money and energy figuring out, okay, how would I get home from that event? Or am I gonna have to pay a Lyft or Uber charge at a peak time on a Saturday night? And 
I can just calmly say, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna drive myself there, and I'm gonna drive myself home. So it really makes things so much easier. My seventh reason, saving money overall. Whether it's an event, a sporting event, a concert, dinner date, you name it, I don't really have to worry about whether those beers are $10 each or, you know, uh, how much a bottle of wine costs. I'm not really focused on that because I'm probably going to have a soda water with lemon or lime, which is honestly sometimes free. So you save a lot of money and you don't have to stress so much about how much an event costs because it will cost significantly less in most cases. Reason number eight. I love myself more. I act with intention. I set boundaries freely. I care about my mental health now and it brings me so much more confidence. And I just like how I show up in this world as a non-drinker. I'm happy and I'm confident with who I am. And that's not something I was able to say before. Reason number nine. My skin is a lot happier with me. It's a little bit more dewy and glowing, less puffy. When I drank, I was always focused on hydration as a means to rehydrate from dehydrating. And now when I hydrate, it's because I'm working to just feel good and to nourish my body and my skin. And I feel like that's paid off a little bit. And that is something to be grateful for. Reason number 10, feeling healthier Overall, when we put alcohol in our bodies, aka ethanol, we are putting a poison into our body. And that is why we are feeling tipsy and feeling drunk in the first place. And I don't say that to judge anyone who drinks because I certainly have no room to judge and I never will. But what I will say is it feels really good to know that I'm not poisoning my body to have a good time. An alcohol-free lifestyle is better for your brain, your heart, your immune system, your liver, your gut health, and it greatly reduces the risk of several different cancers. And I'm not listing everything super in depth, but I promise you, if you do the research, you will see that alcohol is not that great for our bodies but unfortunately it's not a wide known fact because it's just so normalized in our culture to drink. Reason number 11. I have learned to develop coping mechanisms to handle what life throws my way without needing to just pour a drink and avoid it or numb it. These skills are good for your mental health and for regulating your nervous system and oftentimes when we quit drinking, we learn that if we wanna to continue to not drink, we have to focus on this area of our life that maybe we didn't focus on before. So that might look like journaling, learning how to process your feelings. It could be meditation, daily stretching, going for a walk. These coping skills are good for your mental health and for regulating your nervous system, which is something that I've come to learn is really important because part of the reason I enjoy drinking so much is I didn't know how to calm my nervous system. So pouring a drink seemed like the easy option, but really I was avoiding what needed to be dealt with. And last but not least is reason number 12. I am more in the present moment. Now this pertains, for example, to events or vacations or certain times in your life where you want to remember how that moment was or what happened that day and I don't mean this in a blackout drunk sense which of course that could be someone's experience but what I mean is you are fully present and you fully remember the details of that delicious meal you ate or that music that was playing or you name it you are in the moment and you actually remember these really cherished memories that you'll always be able to reflect back on and this is something I didn't even realize about my life and how drinking factored into it until I was trying to recall certain memories that I had and they were all just a little foggy because I was not present in the moment. I was drinking and being social and just kind of wrapped up in that experience and not really able to recall, you know, some of the really beautiful moments that may have taken place. 
And those are the 12 reasons I love the alcohol-free lifestyle. I hope that me sharing these perks with you either helped you feel connected to me by knowing that you share these experiences yourself, or maybe if you were on the fence about quitting, maybe it made it feel less daunting and a little bit more exciting and more of a positive experience than a negative. Subtracting alcohol only adds to your life. And it is honestly a really beautiful experience with so many positive aspects. So these are my positive aspects. And if you have any that I didn't list, I would love to hear what those are in the comments. I think it's really cool to see what everyone's experience has been in this alcohol-free lifestyle. And if you have recently quit, I would love if you could let me know how long you've been alcohol free for. Whether that's a few days or a few years, I would love to know so that I can congratulate you personally because I think that's really exciting and I'm always excited to hear that other people have quit as well. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And if you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you. A few people have reached out to me and asked why it's been a little while since I've made videos. And I'll be completely honest, I struggle sometimes to come up with content ideas because I sometimes feel like I'm being repetitive when I talk about this. So if you have any ideas for topics around alcohol-free living, I would love if you could leave a comment below and share some ideas with me of things you would like to see about the alcohol-free journey. Over the past few years, I've been really focused on writing and I've managed to publish three books all of which are about self-love and healing, which is majorly inspired by my alcohol-free journey. So if you are at all interested in looking into my books, ordering them, or following my writing accounts on social media, where I do share a lot of those pages and quotes from those books, you can find me at Chelsea Armfield on Instagram, on TikTok, on Lemonade. You can look up my books on Amazon, just by searching my name, Chelsea Armfield. And you can also just go to my website, which is chelsearmfield.com. My intention for writing these books is just to help people not feel alone on this journey. And that's the most important part of me sharing these books with you. So if you're interested, you can check those out, but no pressure at all. Thank you so much for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.